Hello everyone, this video is an introduction of the biomedical and chemical label free sensing of our research group. So in fact, do you know how is the label free biomedical sensing works? It can be roughly divided into three different mechanisms, electrical, mechanical, and optical. Electrical sensors, mostly based on nanowires such as silicon, indium oxide, zinc oxide, have successfully demonstrated the detection of proteins and DNA sequence based on the monitoring of the change in current, resistance, impedance, and so on. Mechanical transducer is a cantilever based detection experiment. This sending idea is detecting the change in the stress profile of the micro cantilever when the specific analyte comes to the surface. On the other hand, optical sensing systems use electromagnetic wave for sensing. When the incident light shines on a metal surface, the free electrons of the metal atom will vibrate with a certain frequency of a light which generates a surface plasma. For you to understand easier, you can refer to this schematic diagram. We have a light source here and pass through the polarizer, liquid crystal, fourth cell, second polarizer, and then to a device that records a signal. A surface plasma, also known as a surface plasma polariton, SPP, is an electromagnetic wave which propagates at a metal dielectric interface like this. That's why it is strongly dependent on the geometry of the plasmonic structure and the environmental parameters. Therefore, any changes in the environment, such as the binding of biomolecules to the surface of a metal film, will change the plasma more. You may also notice that the discrete structure confines the SPP at various surface regions. Therefore, we call it localized surface plasma resonance, LSPR. As you can see, its sensitivity to the surface condition is even higher than SPR. The sensitivity of SPR biosensor is very competitive compared to other existing electrochemical electrical biosensors. While LSPR is more advanced, it can achieve 100 times more sensitivity than SPR for certain detection. That's why our group is focusing on the research and development of LSPR-based biosensors. Other than sensitivity, a good biosensor needs to have excellent sensitivity and large dynamic range as well. Selectivity means how much the common interference effects the response, therefore, the less the better. For dynamic range, it means the range of the biosensor can show reliable response without too much noise. Now, we are going to show you some of our research results. This video shows the experiments they are in our lab. This is the temperature control for the light source below. We are using a white light source to cover enough frequency of the spectrum for detection. We can increase the current to have higher intensity of light. This is the water pump for pumping the solution into the system. These black sands are polarizers, which used to control the light path to the pulse cell. The gas chip with sonar iron is set here. This is the pulse cell that allows the target sensor to react with the sensing surface. Here is an uphill fiber receiving the reflected light. The spectrometer will record the intensity of the light during the experiment along with the time. After the experiment, we can process the data to see the variation of the light and analyze the result. Moving to the modification of the detection surface, for both biomedical and chemical sensing, we need to functionalize the material so that it can catch the target. We first fabricate gold nano ions on the substrate. For this day sensing experiment, we use a core polymer formed by two polymers, MPD and ASA, to functionalize the gold nano ion. MPD is used to capture lead iron in the water and ASA is to immobilize the core polymer onto the bone arm iron. Once the polymer captures the PB ions, the LSPR signal will be different and then we can analyze the data to get some information about the sample. This picture shows the phase response compute from the major optical signal with time. You can observe the large difference in the phase response between blue and red curve during the water sample reacting with our sensing surface. The one with lead iron will be captured by the polymer and significantly change the surface environment. As a result, the spectrometer records the variation and eventually we obtain a large response from the lead contaminating water sample. You may not be able to imagine, but a lead based system can also be scaled down in size for commercial use. Inspired by previous Hong Kong lead in drinking water incident, we have made a prototype that integrates our LSPR system into a portable device for household water quality monitoring. Currently, there is a company manufacturing a commercial unit which is about half the size of this prototype. 
Hopefully this application can help solving the water safety issue. An advanced LSPR biomedical application could be used in cancer cell monitoring. With a similar mechanism, we take one substance called exosome released from the cancer cell to capture CD147 antigen and MCT1. The concentration of two chemicals will reflect the health condition of the cancer patient. Hence, LSPR could become another method replacing biomarker for tracking the growth of tumors. Besides, one of our group members, who is currently working abroad, just published his new research outcome. His team successfully developed a LSPR biosensor for coronavirus. We know that current diagnosis of COVID-19 rely on RT-PCR technique, but it is very time-consuming and is likely to show false positive results. Therefore, this LSPR biosensor may provide a fast and accurate solution for clinical COVID-19 diagnosis. I want to emphasize that the LSPR detection is a powerful technique in biosensing. Researchers can develop new plasmony nanomaterials and create various of sensing mechanisms to facilitate the detection. Recently, our team is also fabricating a normal titanium nanostructure to realize label-free biomedical sensing. I believe you are somehow impressed by our LSPR biosensor. If you are interested in this field and want to have a deeper understanding, you are very welcome to contact us.